Okay, this time around, the question comes from Sarah. And her question is, what is it with people? I know, right? Next question. No, just kidding. There's obviously a lot more to say. And there's a lot more to say because this is something that everybody has wrestled with. I, I think sometimes the the stuff of life, the, the details, the logical stuff, the even the bills to pay and things of that nature are so much easier to deal with than the people issues. And I want you to know that you're in good company. I mean, when you think of the, the Ten Commandments, Moses goes through a lot of stuff, but the part where he gets mad and throws the commandments down is because the people are screwing up. When you look in the New Testament, and there's that part where Jesus wept. He's not crying because he's thinking about the crucifixion. Apparently, that's easy in comparison with what the people are doing. Over and over again, that's the thing. And by the way, that's a good thing to know. Maybe you can let yourself off the hook a little bit if you remember that there were people who hung out with Jesus and Moses and the Buddha and Muhammad and every other hero, every other spiritual person, and didn't get it. There were people that hang out with the Dalai Lama and have a bad attitude. Can you imagine that? But if that's the case... Maybe it's not so wise to wonder why every single person in your life isn't getting what you're putting out. In fact, it's a little bit egotistical. If they couldn't do it, maybe it's not for you to do either. The thing is, what people do is about them. It's not about you. I mean, we're all in this together. But the job that you have is not to change somebody else's mind or to save somebody else's soul. That's not how this works. Instead, if you can see somebody else as a teacher and really try to get that lesson, and if you can return the favor by doing your absolute best, by trying to be honest, by trying to be in integrity, by trying to learn the lessons that they put out, you're on the right track and the ego stuff begins to go away. A lot of it is ego stuff. I mean, so many times the problem that people have with other people can be defined this way. How dare you not be psychic? How dare you not anticipate my needs and my desires? How dare you not know what I mean? How dare you not be me? You know what I mean? Well, that's not fair. And besides, you know, variety being the spice of life, we don't need a whole bunch of clones. We want other people, other points of view. Once again, See the people in your life as teachers and return the favor by being the best you can be. And all of that other stuff goes away. I'm going to say it again. It's not about them. It's about you. There was a time in my life when I really felt like my success, my growth, the stuff that I wanted was being blocked by one person. And so I spent so much time in that situation thinking and even saying sometimes, why can't this person just get out of the way? Why can't they just move on to get out of the way? What can they do to just get the clue to get out of the way? How dare they? Well, they're not thinking about me at all. And the longer I fought in that situation, the harder things got. And the harder things got. And the harder things got. And all of a sudden, something happened in that situation where I had to go. I had no choice. And I began to realize in that wonderful, beautiful, at the time sad, but now I look at it, brilliant, wonderful moment. In that moment, I began to realize that it wasn't them that had to get out of the way at all. It was me. So look at what's going on around you. Yeah, you know what? People are a problem, but life is messy and problems are for solving. You can spend a lot of time going, why did this happen? Why did they do that? Why, why, why? But you know what? Why it happened is almost never the right question. Because it takes us to a place of blame, because it doesn't help anything. Why is almost never the right question. The right question is, what are you going to do about it? Are there people in your life that are doing things that you don't understand? Are there people in your life who are not doing things that you want them to do? Either way, it's not about them. It's not about why they're doing it or not doing it. What are you going to do about it? Not enough love in your situation? How can you bring more love into that situation? Or how can you get out of there so you can find one that's more love? Why is not the question. The question is, what are you going to do about it? And the answer depends on your situation. The details vary, but in broad strokes, the answer is do your best. Be loving. Try to figure out how to be in peace and on purpose. What is it with other people? Well, they're here to teach you something. So learn it and move on. That's how this works. Be the best you that you can be. Be in peace and on purpose because you are worth 
growth. As always, thank you for sending in these questions. If you want to send in your questions, you can find me at unitysociety.com. You can also go to the YouTube channel where you're probably watching this and drop in a question in the comments. Thanks for doing that. Thanks for subscribing to the videos. Thanks for sharing them with everybody. In fact, do that for me. Share this video with as many people as you want and have them send their questions. I really want to know what you want to know. Thanks again. Take care of yourself.